Hi folks, welcome to my channel. This is Balsamic Moon Tarot, and I'm here with a pick a card reading. I have three piles in front of you, and today we're asking, um, what is good? What is the good news coming your way? What are the positive changes coming in the next three to six months? So, this is a timeless reading from when, from the point you see this video is when we will be predicting the next three to six months for you, okay? And we're just asking, um, we're asking your guides about positive changes, good news, um, positive predictions, okay? So, let's get started um, for pile one. Your card is See Beyond the Past. Oracle card number 23, See Beyond the Past. There's a black swan there, really interesting. For pile number two, your card is Prayer Answered. Oracle card number 12, Prayer Answered, and we see a buffalo there. And for pile number three, your card is Inner Truth, Oracle card number seven with the owl, Inner Truth. Okay, wonderful. So feel free to skip ahead to the timestamps in the description for your reading, and I'll see you there. Hello, pile one, welcome to your reading. Really excited to tell you about positive changes in the next three to six months. Okay, we've already got cards flying out. You selected this card with a, a black swan and it says see beyond the past. Um, I think that the next three to six months, I think that what what is going to shift positively for you has to do with perhaps the way you see yourself. Um, the way, not just the way you see your past, but the way you see your past self. Okay, let me take a quick look at the guidebook. It's Oracle card number 23. beautiful black swan. The fable of the ugly duckling tells of a baby swan that nested with baby ducks. All the ducks made fun of little swan for how different he looked, which made him feel inherently not good enough. Little swan compared himself to what a duck should look like rather than own the nature of his true swell, self, a swan. Sadly, little swan began to assume the identity of the ugly duckling. As time went on, little swan grew and became the most beautiful black swan, and some would even say more magnificent than the common ducks that bullied him. Wow, yeah, so reflected in the water is his heartbroken child self. Despite how gorgeous black swan became, he suffered from severe shame and feelings of unworthiness. He could not see the glorious truth of himself. He became crippled by the delusion that something was inherently wrong with him. He believed a wicked distortion that diminished his worth. He was utterly unaware of his captivating beauty and could honor neither himself nor the gifts of the great mystery bestowed upon him. He became obsessed with outside validation and compared himself to other winged creatures. The ugly duckling finally woke up to his true self as the beautiful black swan and asks you to do the same. Swan's medicine asks you to accept that you feel your insecurities but do not submit to them. Whenever you feel small, it is not reality. It is the old story and the programming that brainwashed you. Please wake up from the illusion and honor what the great spirit gifted you, the gift of yourself. No one in the world is like you. Own that you are a rare miracle. Awesome. Pile one. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at these tarot cards. So far we have the Empress. Oh my goodness, wow, lovely. Oh, and you can see the colors really resonating there, right? We have the universe, wow. So this is like the world card. And we have the 10 of wands, okay. So predictions, positive changes, good news. So in the next few months, and perhaps in six months, so in, in the next half year, pile one. Really amazing growth cycle, and it's going to complete. The shift is going to complete. There is definitely a sense of 
accept yes there is a sense of accepting who you are self-acceptance radical self-acceptance and really appreciating your unique qualities an appreciation for your for your individual qualities that's what's coming through here it's really lovely with the ten of wands energy and the world card there is a sense of completion and there's a there's closing the loop too Sorry, that's boo-boo in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's this, there's, there's completion of a growth cycle. I just heard finishing touches. Um, I feel like this is not just with your physical appearance or your identity, you know, the, the way you um, appear in the world like it's possible that you're shifting behaviors you're shifting manner mannerisms style appearance that's totally uh that could totally be the case but i also feel like a shift is here in something more environmental something more uh atmos like an atmosphere um so it could be that your home or office is shifting it could be like the workplace is shifting and the workplace is becoming much more pleasant, much more peaceful. Um, it could also be a promotion, frankly, because with the Empress and the World card, this is definitely about success. This is about attaining success and being rewarded, being rewarded for what is admired about you. Okay, so it's about recognition. It's about success and reward and, and validation. Um, yeah, receiving a lot of admiration and validation too. And and it's funny because I know that story about the ugly duckling is about how you don't need external validation, right? And to to move away from this um, programming, this brainwashing that, that says you are less than, that says you're inferior. So I think this is all just, this is all part and parcel of the same shift. It's like you start to realize your true worth your true value and you stop settling for less the ten of wands is showing up to be like you are you are not going to back down from from getting what is owed you okay so so there there's like um a saturation point is how i would see that it's like there's a point where you're like i i will not give up on this i will not give up until this is this is received yeah it's like it's a bit of a stubborn energy but it's kind of like warranted it's valid it's 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 really what's necessary is for you to have that toughness to you that's like i know i deserve more i know i deserve better and i'm not backing down that's the energy i'm getting there so yeah pile one let's clarify this the page of pentacles okay that's the princess of pentacles I feel like you're training and maybe you're someone who does, you know, you do training or education for your career, you're a teacher or you're a trainer, maybe you're even a physical trainer. Um, but there's this, this page of pentacles is showing up as a supportive energy. So I do think that you, you do have admirers or like people who are, um, really appreciative of your experience your skills your wisdom they come to you and they offer to help you because it's almost like they want to learn from you they want to be your apprentice they want they're modeling after you yeah they're like copycats there's that energy we have the ace of pentacles wow and we have the five of swords okay so again with the the ten of wands and the five of swords you know it's showing this um as a positive change, what that's telling me is that you are definitely not afraid to say enough is enough. This is like, again, you know, you asserting yourself and you just saying like enough is enough. I'm not putting up with that anymore. It's also you calling out someone who might have been manipulative, who might have been deceptive, who might have been sabotaging you. You're just showing them you're, you're you're holding up a mirror to them and being like look it's so obvious like stop just stop you know and and so that's that's really great energy because with the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles you have a winning strategy here you have 
uh, the a path to success, and it's very real world. You know, it's very real world success. It's a path to shift. It's a path to change. You have proven this path of to success. So that explains why people are very interested in you. They're like, how did you do it? You know, can you help me do this? So you're actually both someone who's who has an opportunity and who gives other people opportunities okay that's really cool you're someone who has succeeded to the point that you can actually help others succeed that's what this ace is showing okay that's the abundance appearing here is that you have so much to offer because you were able to take a small idea and a small step a small, you know, small, when I say small, think of a seed, right? It was so deceptively humble and small and, you know, no one saw this coming except you. You believed in it. You believed in yourself. You knew this had so much potential. And so you grew this initial idea into something beautiful and abundant. So this can be the case with a business. This can be the case with some creative project. Like you were, you were there to nurture it all the way through to its success and its full fulfillment, its development. So now everyone, there's people around you who are just like, wow, how did you do it? Do it for me. I want, you know, I want to, I want to do, I want to follow in your footsteps. The five of swords energy is just showing that like what you're doing has integrity and it's making it very obvious when other people do things and take shortcuts. It's like there are people around you who are jealous because they, it's it's like, it's really making it clear that the, what they, that they've just been taking shortcuts all this time and you've been doing the real work. You know what I'm saying? That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, so pile one, yeah. I'm, okay, last, last one, three of cups, yes. Yeah, this is impacting the social environment. This is like, this is making you kind of like, win the popularity contest it's you know nothing nothing serious nothing to get to uh invested in but yeah i do feel like there's admirers around there's people celebrating you people really congratulating you uh there is a set there is a reason to celebrate in fact i wonder if you might have a wedding coming up because the ace of pentacles can also be the wedding ring and with the Empress in the world, you know, that's that can show a, a relationship that has staying power, commitment, a lifelong relationship. So it could be also that in six months, you know, you, there's kind of this big reveal where you have your wedding and people are like, wow, like, how did you plan this? What did you, you know, tell me your secrets? Um, and 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 yet it's so meaningful. It's like it shows that what you did, what how you what you did was so thoughtful was so intentional like it just shows a lot of um substance okay so again that could be a wedding sure that could be a wedding but it could be other things too you know the idea here is that you really have a lot of admiration for what you do and you crafted something from the beginning stages you were there just crafting it and nurturing it into a very beautiful outcome here okay so we're gonna finish this up with a few oracle cards Good news for pile one, please. Next three to six months, what's coming their way? What are some positive changes, positive developments? I'm going to take this and this. Let's take one card, please. Yeah. Um... Yes, it's this card, okay. Positive changes for pile one. Positive changes for pile one. Any clarifications or anything to add? All right, we've got, we've got it. We've got new beginnings, okay. It came with healing chaos, which is really interesting. So there's this tornado. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. So this is, um, I don't wanna say reset, is it a reset? Let's, let's just take this. Oh, wow. 
I'm not sure how to pronounce this word actually, agape or agape, but it, it is a form of love. It's a, it's a Greek concept, concept from ancient Greece. We have the wonder, or no, sorry, I said the wonder. We have the worker, okay, worker bee here. Let me take a look at 72. Devotion, unconditional love, wow. It is alive when we are in awe and wonder, our breath taken away by the sacred force that surrounds us and asks for nothing in return. It can indicate a spiritual initiation that stretches your capacity to love and serve. You sense the earthly as the heavenly and vice versa. What are you elevating? Where does the sacred ladder you climb ultimately lead to? Service, reverence, honor, joy. Children's choirs from around the world, interesting. And then the worker. Okay, yeah, so you have a, there's a lot of meaning coming through. You, the work you do is going to take on a lot of meaning. It's going to be very meaningful. And the reason why, now I understand this, I see this is what you're offering to others. You're offering to others a new beginning. And the healing chaos, it just goes to show how powerful this, this new way is. Like you're showing people a new way, a new way to approach some, some kind of matter, you know, like you're showing people that you, you're showing you're showing others you're encouraging others to change you're like this change agent like you're 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 showing by example how others can practice radical self-acceptance radical love radical acceptance and that creates this pathway to healing and it seems chaotic because it it invites this very powerful um improv in a sense like it's it's a powerful playful energy even of you know i see the butterflies just around the tornado it's like you're you're a force of change but the reason why people are receptive to it is because you you actually make it quite fun and freeing and liberating and like why wouldn't anyone want to go you know to go this way right and it's a service you're offering here. So this is in the realm of work. I do think this is a prediction for your workplace, for your career, or just like something you do, like a community service or a volunteering that you do. Like it's it's something you do that is very powerful. And in the in the near future, in the next several months, it's going to develop in a way where the impact will be really visible and seen and felt and it's not just impacting you it's actually impacting others okay it's impacting your social circle your community it's causing a reason to celebrate it's creating reasons to celebrate milestone milestones i said milestones milestones okay so yeah there's there's a lot of um growth potential and it's really starting from you you're initiating this growth in yourself, in others, you are um, helping others restore a very strong sense of self and, and truth, you know, that, that access to one's, um, I'm hearing radical honesty, yeah, a lot of <laughs> radical is the term, okay, radical is the theme, um, but yeah, Pile One, that's your message. Thank you so much for being here. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you feel called to. And feel free to chime in in the comments if this was your reading and let me know. Take, thank you so much, Pile One. Take care. Hi, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. You selected this card with the buffalo prayer answered. The number 12, if that's meaningful for you. I, when I was pulling these cards, I kept saying, yes, 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 yes. I don't know. I have a very good feeling um, here, but um, let's see. What, what do we have to start with? So these are positive changes, positive developments, and predictions for the next three to six months. What is, what is the good news? What can you look forward to? We have the four of wands. Yeah. The king of wands. Okay. 
The Four of Pentacles, interesting. The Nine of Wands. Um, you know what? Let's do this. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay, wow. Wands galore. Um, interesting that the Four of Pentacles is now on its own there. Kind of like left hanging. Okay, Pile 2. Pile 2, Prayer Answered. And here's the prayer again. Here's the prayer position. The hands are in prayer once more. And here is a hand um, with something sprouting, right? The plant is sprouting, and we see the two colors there. So I feel like duality is of essence here. The same two colors, yellow and blue, are showing up in the Four of Wands. Okay, this might be this is definitely specific but I, I think someone here or maybe a few of you you're getting the wish fulfilled in terms of this this thing you're saving for I honestly I feel like it could be a car but there's like there's a really exciting something really exciting is happening because you've been waiting You've been waiting for some time to get like this big purchase. I see a car. It could be something else like an RV, maybe a camper, RV, camper van. Because um, I feel like mobility is associated with it. It's like, it's like, yes, I finally have what I need to go and see the country, you know, to travel, to do road trips. It could be that. There's this, I, there's this excitement that it, it gives you the chance to, to go anywhere. Like you have this expanded horizon now thanks to this shift, this purchase. Um, but yeah, with the Four of Pentacles, I do see you saving. You're saving up for this. You've been saving up for this. Um, yeah, really good. Really good energy so far. So I'm going to actually keep going with this with this deck can we clarify the four of wands with the king of wands please that could be a marriage that could be a wedding so this could be saving up for the honeymoon and you're going on the honeymoon and it's exactly what you wanted prayer answered we have the queen of pentacles there and we have the hierophant That um, hierophant makes me think of marriage as well, commitment. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, last card here. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, let me move things over here. Seven of Cups and then the Six of Cups. Interesting. Yes, so I do think... This message is for somebody who's saving up for a purchase, a very large purchase. It's something really important. They're going to get exactly what they need. You're going to get exactly what you need. You're going to get exactly what you are saving up for. The Hierophant. Okay. It's possible that this, th this purchase requires financing, but you're going to be in a solid position. So maybe what you're doing in the, in the, in the present time, maybe you're improving your credit. Maybe you're paying off some debt because you anticipate you're going to need a good load to make this big purchase. So that's one way to look at that higher fit. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so that Four of Pentacles energy, I feel like that's where you are and that's where you've been. The Four of Pentacles has been kind of a fear mindset, a scarcity mindset. Someone who has had to pinch every penny and has also been really worried about income, really worried about, you know, am I, it's almost like you're, but you've been looking at every single paycheck and you're scrutinizing every paycheck that comes in and you're like, this is not enough or this is just barely enough. All right. So definitely getting that penny pincher mindset, but the shift is the seven, it's, it's this cups energy. It's flow. Okay. Seven of cups, six of cups. This is like, Appreciation. This is gratitude. This is pleasure. 
even a bit of hedonism, indulgence. Uh-huh, yeah, you're going to be influenced. I feel like this King of Wands energy is actually somebody else in your life who's helping you, um, helping you, um, I don't mean just helping helping you relax frankly it's someone is helping you um not sweat the small stuff you know like you you've had a lot of uh you know you've been a you've been a bit um uptight <laughs> you've been a bit uptight so there's someone coming in who's helping you loosen up and in a strange in an interesting way they actually offer a lot of wisdom here they, they come in with a bit of a mentor energy, okay? So maybe there's somebody you really respect and you admire them because they have built a life. They have achieved what they wanted to achieve. And so you're taking their advice seriously. And, and honestly, their advice is kind of telling you, you need to lighten up. <laughs> you, need to, you need to budget for pleasure. You need to budget for for more opportunities seize more opportunities ten of cups wow i i just felt drawn to pull from this other deck and i got the ten of cups see that's really cool what this hierophant what this person is telling you and you know what this could be someone who's not a personal connection this could actually be someone you watch on tv or you read their books like they're a public figure and they are inspiring you so they're like a hero you know um, but this person is inspiring you and showing you that like there's more to life, you know, there's more to life. And if we, if we, if we come at it with the scarcity mindset, uh, that's all we see, right? They're pointing out how you've been viewing your life has been very like limited. It's, it, you've been limiting yourself. And so they're showing to you that there is actually room here. There's room for you to experience joy and happiness and, and fulfillment. And it really is this, uh, this flow energy. They're helping you see witness the flow in your life they're helping you witness the flow in the universe the spiritual flow that's all i'll say about that that's really interesting and i love this depiction of the six of cups because we see the balance of you know each color like the colors of the chakra right we see this flow and even the laurel being like a victory one two three four five six yeah, the victory. So there's like a center. You're you're finding a, a center here. You're finding a, a joyful center here. This could actually be someone who maybe you go to church or you you know you someone has a, a more of a spiritual religious um standing, you know, in the community. They might be a preacher, they might be someone who offers spiritual guidance. But what they're telling you is really helping you center. It's helping you find that access to joy again. So when I, when, with the prayer answered, you know, I started off talking about a big purchase you're saving up for. That may or may not be the case. There's this other element of, of these positive changes where you're just simply feeling more optimistic and you're feeling much more, um, you're experiencing joy. You're just much more joyful because somebody in your life is helping you develop that uh, appreciation that sense of awe and gratitude for creation for for the abundance for the spiritual abundance okay this is not so materialistic this is more of that um you know appreciation and gratitude and awe for for the the meaning in life the purpose in life okay so that's really lovely pile too that's a really light and like wonderful energy um i'm gonna pull some Oracle cards now for you. Can we clarify this further for pile two? Any other messages of positive changes? What they can look forward to? Good news. Good news coming their way.
Oh, wow, okay. That's definitely your card. Inspiration, yeah. And manifestation, wow. Okay, I get that. So what this shift is, like this is a change in your life where you're no longer just trying to manifest getting by and survival. You know, this is like you've coming, you're coming from a place where you feel like you have to scrape every penny and just be frugal just for survival. And now it's shifting into this realization that there is so much more to life. There's so much more to experience and it doesn't require you to, um, it doesn't require you to work so hard. It's about coming, it's about tapping in that power within that power to manifest. This is access to magic. Okay. So you're now getting inspired to bring your attention to the magic in life, in everyday life. And as a result, that magic, that sense of magic and that sense of connection to spirit, to the universe, that, that grows. So this inspiration card is really um, connecting with the four of wands for me because look at the four, look at the um, the four. It's almost like a a similar shape, but yet here we see we see tree roots and we see a butterfly here too. I I feel like there's a butterfly. So there's like this is the four of wands is sometimes about um, you know living your best life. It's like everything you care about is present. Everything you you cherish, you love, you are passionate about, it has a presence in your life and you don't have to yearn for it anymore. You feel like you've achieved that. You've achieved that stability of having a very purposeful, meaningful life. So with the inspiration here, um, that's it. It, that is the good news is that you're feeling so much more inspired to... Um, to live that best life, to live your best life, to, you know, not just focus so much on the paycheck and the work and the striving, but to really open up to these new possibilities of enjoyment and um, pleasure and just simply, simply, you know, seeing life as this beautiful adventure. We see the Queen of Pentacles here too, which is a, which is a really interesting energy here. I'm actually going to put it here. Because I, I also connect the Queen of Pentacles with the buffalo, right? Like, there's there's the natural world. Here's the rabbit with manifestation, also abundance, right? Also symbolizing abundance. There's something about wanting to really be in the... Wanting to experience more of planet Earth. More of the, of the Earth energy. That divine feminine mother earth Gaia energy that's the abundance also you know understanding that the earth provides understanding that mother earth provides that's making you feel more centered as well it's making you feel more safe it's making you feel more happy like that this is what is cause for celebration here as well um so yeah, again, I do feel like some of you are taking a road trip and you're finally like getting that vehicle that's going to enable you to travel more, to to see more of the, the country, see more of the world. Um, let's see what else we have. We have wisdom. Beautiful. And look, that really jives with the Ten of Cups, all this Cups energy. I'm going to put it right here. We also have the Creator. Yes. Oh, wow. And someone is holding a paintbrush there. Yeah, so um, you have you are accessing some creative powers as well. All this inspiration is inspiring you to do something that expresses your appreciation. You're expressing your gratitude for for nature. You're expressing your gratitude for creator, for God, for spirit, for the universe. You're doing this in a way that is very personal. Okay, it's it's a personal calling for you to express this um sure it could be painting that could be it but there's something here with the wisdom card right there's something here about just simply oh yeah it's it's like simply being it's 
It's embodying the wisdom. You no longer feel separate. That's, that's a very powerful message here. You no longer feel separate from creation. You feel a part of creation. You feel a part of the whole. You, you, you are woven into the fabric of the universe. That's how, that's how wonderful that feels to feel like you are where exactly, you are exactly where you belong. Belonging, that's the four of wands as well. Belonging, prayer answered, belonging. The spiritual center. The joy, the awe. Such joy that you you need to express it. You need to emanate it, share it. So that's where that painting, it can be painting, it can be drawing, it can be gardening. I mean, it, it can manifest in many ways, but there's this beautiful appreciation behind it. Okay, that's amazing. Pile two, lovely message for you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad for you. Um, you know, really bask in this, right? This is a beautiful change for you. What a beautiful shift. No longer dwelling on a hard scrabble life, but actually seeing the abundance that's always been around you, but now you're really seeing it and now you're really able to experience it. So pile two, wonderful message for you. Please take care and feel free to chime in the comments if this was your message. Um, like and subscribe the buttons, please, if you uh, subscribe. Like, hit the like and subscribe buttons if, if that resonates with you. And feel free to share this video to anyone else you think might benefit. Take care, pile two. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. You selected the card Inner Truth. Number 7 shows this owl here. Just going to take a couple deep breaths before I get started with your reading. This could be a good opportunity for you to take a couple deep breaths. I take all the energy that is not mine and I return it to Source. And I take all the energy that is mine and I return it to my heart center. Okay, starting off the reading, feeling very centered. And that is what the Inner Truth card is about too, right? It's about that center, finding that center. What is the good news for Pile 3? What can they expect in the next three to six months? Positive developments to look forward to. Positive changes. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, let's start with that. And might as well start with this too. This card wants to come out. Okay, pile three. We have the Knight of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Swords and the Star card, okay? We also have the Eight of Wands. Wow, the Eight of Wands has shown up, I think, in all of the readings today. So there is definitely quick moving energy, alignment, something happening very quickly here. Positive changes that are quickly coming together. But I feel, there is a storyline here, so let's tap into this. The Knight of Cups. Wow, so you pile three. You have you are quite a sensitive soul. You're very sensitive. You're very romantic. Can also be artistic. Um, you have a sensibility to you. Very soft, very soft, gentle energy. And I feel like there's this <laughs> it's like leapfrog. Like the, there's a way that you leap over trials and tribulations. You know, here's the Knight of Cups looking ahead to the Ten of Cups. That Ten of Cups, there's a, I do see there's a beautiful relationship here. So you might be in a relationship or you might find a relationship in the next, you know, three to six months. Someone shows up and they are very much attuned to you. They are really um, like a kindred soul, kindred spirit. And, you know, you, you, you share this love. There's a beautiful, beautiful love that 
that's possibly showing up here. But the Ten of Cups can also be the community. It can be like the perfect life, just feeling like everything is, is where it needs to be, feeling very happy and fulfilled, you know, just perfection, okay? But then we have the Star card, and that's another really lovely energy of spiritual gifts, intuition, healing, insight, you know, your principles, just the high, again, that perfect idea of perfection, your ideals, um, wish fulfillment, okay? Now, there's energy in between the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. There's struggle here. There's challenges. Um, but this inner truth is what keeps you focused. And... You have this amazing ability to persevere through even the toughest of circumstances because you keep your hopes up. You keep your heart glad. That's wow. You keep your heart glad. Wow. Um, and I think this is very genuine. I don't think you, you know, I don't think you, you might struggle and you might worry, but I don't think you hide this from people really I think you can be very honest about your struggles but you're also very kind to yourself about it you recognize that a, there for the things that are outside of your control you have an easier time than others to to accept that yeah wow pile three I'm, I'm, it's like interesting energies here I feel like you might even have um there might even be an ailment here. It could be a health struggle, but it's it's actually you're actually finding support for it. That's exactly what that is. You're actually finding you're following your intuition and your 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 intuition is guiding you to a supportive community here. A supportive person, partnership or community that wants to see you thrive, wants to see you heal. It's an understanding. They know what you're going through. They know what you've been through. And this is what's giving you hope. This is what's giving you hope, this acceptance by this, this community or this person. It gives you this hope because you really felt you were on your own for some time. Um, but now you're you're feeling like you're not alone anymore. It's exactly what you wished for. It's exactly what you wanted. You know, being the Knight of Cups, you've always been someone who's who's very who's who's had that ability to understand and to care and to be very gentle and tender to others. You've had that ability. You've had that love to give, and now you're having a chance to share that love. That love is going to be appreciated and received by someone. So it's interesting. I feel like you you are meeting someone, and they're very similar to you, and together you take on this challenge head on. Okay, so pile three, yeah, that's quite specific. So maybe that isn't a message for everybody, but I do feel like at least a few of you will resonate with that. That inner truth, you know, just staying true to your feelings, staying true to who you are has helped you find this this acceptance, um, this relationship, this supportive community, um, the support system, okay? So that's really wonderful. Okay, pile three. Yeah, I feel like it's a very clear message for you. We have the Knight of Swords. So we have the Eight of Wands right here. And now we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Wow. The Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Hangman. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hearing solution. Okay, for someone here, yeah, I'm hearing that like for someone here, there was treatment that you're aware of, but you just never had access to the treatment. And now the treatment is becoming accessible. It's becoming available to you. And you're seizing the opportunity. You are taking this opportunity. 
Are you even willing to leave behind to change something quite drastically in your life in order to accept this opportunity? It's an opportunity to heal. It's an opportunity to, to receive very special, powerful treatment. And with that hanged man um, and the star card aligning there, this is again, you know, a very, um, a very meaningful shift. This is about your priorities. Yeah, letting go of, of something that's no longer serving you and embracing the new, a new life and trusting in it. You know, you don't quite know exactly where it's all leading, but you trust in this, you trust in the process and you're, it's like surrendering, surrendering to a healing power, surrendering to a healing environment, recognizing that this is what you need Deciding to get your needs met, deciding to take those steps in order to, you know, improve your situation, being committed here, being willing to work on this. Yeah, a lot of determination showing up here. That Nine of Swords and now the Nine of Cups here. You want to do this because you know, it's like, you know, it all comes from you. Your decision to have a better life. No one can make that decision for you. Wow, well, pile three. So that is that is your message. I'm gonna I'm gonna um pull some oracle cards. Definitely seeing, you know, if you're someone with with like who's been you know having a struggle maybe to do on the health front or or just another um, you know, it could be mental health, but like there's, there's some kind of peace. There's some kind of new path here being offered and you're willing to take it. It's a shift. It's a big shift, but it's a shift in the right direction. Let go and let God. That's what the hangman is saying. Having faith, definitely having faith. And that's what the inner truth is too. You're you're accepting your inner truth. You're you're following your inner truth. Surrender. Surrender to the power. That's what I'm hearing. Surrender to the power. Illumination. Wow. That's a hangman energy as well. Truth. <laughs> wow. You're getting truth so much. The Maiden, wow, yeah. You know, I can't help but think, yes, this might be, you might be a masculine energy and there's someone who's more of the feminine that's, that's, you know, drawing you in and they're really like bringing this beauty and this grace and this romance into your life. And we have the Strength card, yeah, that is about healing too, the Eight. In, in tarot, it's the eight, and here's the eight of wands. So, definitely, wow. Um, pile three, yes, this wants to come together here. Pile three, yes, I, I think for some of you, there is this beautiful relationship coming through, and this is a relationship that helps get you on the path to recovery, to healing. And it's a, it's a relationship where you feel supported for exactly who you are, where you can be who you are. The truth of who you are is, is um, revealed. And this illumination is not, this is, this is acceptance. This is grace. This is not feeling rejected. This is not feeling ashamed. This is feeling accepted and cared for and loved for who you are, appreciated for who you are. So this sets you on a path to truly um want to do better for yourself to truly do what is right here and to have that diligence patience commitment to getting better okay so i am feeling like that is for you the message for you pile three this may not be for everybody so just take what resonates for you but a lot of strength here a lot of alignment and just feeling like you have what it takes but you also trust it's like the, the weakness, the vulnerability that you've experienced is now your strength. That's a strength of yours. That 
willingness, that ability to be, to, to yield, okay? That ability to yield, um, that ability to go with the flow and just let things settle, let things reveal themselves, okay? The illumination, you have a very wise, sensitive soul here and it's, and, and so you're following that inner voice and that inner truth and it's leading you to a very powerful moment of, you know, grace and healing and acceptance here. I know there's not a lot of specifics there, um, but it is a it is a very powerful shift. Um, just it's like deceptive because it doesn't seem to have. It's not like you know winning the lottery and and now you move into a mansion. But there's still something here that is so like. It feels like a gift, yeah. There's something here that feels like you've been gifted, you've been blessed. Um, and again, I think it could be related to a, a, a healing, to recovery, to treatment, but it can also just be related to feeling understood, to feeling seen, and to feeling supported, okay? That's what the, what is really, really, really showing up here, is that that sense of no longer being out on your own, no longer being out in the cold, no longer being left to fend for yourself, but now having that support. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the, I do think there's someone showing up here. This person is showing up and they are here to nurture. They are here to provide. They are here to... I mean, honestly, in a simple sense, they are here to feed you. <laughs> they are here to feed you. They they want to help you. They want to support you. They are so giving and kind and generous and just really knowing, understanding what you need, okay? This is someone who doesn't put up with BS. They're, they see through any any kind of, you know, you might be someone who downplays something like, oh, I don't really need that. I'm okay. I'm good. And they're just like, nope, you need this. You know, you did not eat today. You need to eat. Okay. That's the kind of pragmatism they bring to the table. But with the six of swords, they're really offering you this passageway. You've been, you know, struggling and they're now offering you this um, bridge over troubled water. So like if you have, if you want to check my videos, there's a video I put out uh, a few days ago or yeah, a, a few days ago, check out a video for the Balsamic Moon in Aries, and that might relate to you. It's called The Poet's Way. But this this is a chance now to leave a situation in which you have been really under pressure and struggling, but you've always had that hope. You've always maintained that hope, and you've always known something is going to happen to help, okay? Something is going to give way here. So now the way is showing itself, and you're accepting it, you're embracing it, you're following that truth. You're following your inner truth, your inner guidance. It has not steered you wrong. Okay, pile three. That's your message. Thank you so much for being here. And I really wish the best of luck to you. I, I, I hope everything on your journey unfolds in the best possible way. And I really appreciate your energy here. Please click the like and subscribe buttons if this was your reading. And feel free to chime in the comments. Um, and feel free to share this video if you think it could help somebody else. Okay, take care, Pile 3. Thank you so much.